Hey, Andy and Dano here. Thanks for watching another episode of Andy vs. Dano webcast. This webcast is sponsored by Sticker. Sticker is a program that lets you edit your design of your website without having to code anything at all. You can do it straight from your browser. They have a free trial going on right now. So if you like to design but you hate codes, go ahead and check out Sticker at stiqr.com. Thank you. Hey yo, hey yo, this is the Andy vs. Dano Show. We are a competition website where Andy and I take on things in the world and try to improve our lives. On today's show, we're going to announce the winner of our weight loss competition, which if you've, if you've been watching the last few shows, you probably already know who it is. Uh, we're going to talk about what we learned through this process. We're going to talk about the future of AVD, or Andy vs. Dano. And then we're going to talk about our New Year's resolutions. So, uh, let's, let's go ahead and do it. I need some cheering music, some cheering from the audience. Our winner is, drum roll, <laughs> Andy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. But you, you guys know what? Um, uh, before this competition started, um, Daniel was actually 300 uh, plus pounds, and he actually lost a bunch of weight before the competition started. So... Um, yeah, he, he did a really great job and I, you know, I would say that it's, it's a tie at the end of all of this, that it's a tie, you know, just so. be modest, man, you, you cranked it pretty hard. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for acknowledging my, my larger weight loss over a number of years. <laughs> just couldn't do it in the five months that we had to do this. Yeah. I mean, if you guys are wondering, we're, we're still going to keep going at this until we reach our ideal weight. And Okay, so let's just announce what the weight is. Um, basically, uh, I am 182.5 exactly currently right now. And uh, during the week, I actually went down to uh, like 180.5. But uh, yeah, I'm 182.5 right now. It's a teaser. You know, by New Year's, which is I know it's just Friday, for those mm -hmm. who are watching this in the, the future, it's the 28th of December, 2010. And... Uh, <laughs> You might be able to make it to the 270s by Friday. It's I want to shoot for 240s, but uh, I'm 254 right now. But I I keep floating around. So, but I think yeah. you can really make it because you've been you've been pushing hard and you've been doing a lot of unique cardio exercises and uh, I think you might be able to do it. Yeah, I, I've actually been doing a lot of uh, home workouts and stuff like that. And basically, it's like crunches, pull up, and and push up, just trying to tone up everything and. I don't know. It seems like it's working out, and and I actually did ten pull ups uh, on on Christmas. Yeah, on Christmas. At yeah, home. I did it. I did it in front of a friend, but I didn't really want to do it all the way. But then when I tried it on my own, I just did it all the way, and I really pulled in um, ten pull up. wasn't perfect pull up, but it was ten pull ups. So I actually hit it. Yeah. Did you jump on the first one? Um, I think I did. Oh, I, I think, I just yeah, I think, you know, every single one, it seems like I kind of used my foot to launch myself up on the first one, but I still say it's 10, but yeah, now, now the goal is going to be like 15 or something like that, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. And, um, we're just going to keep going at this and I'm going to keep trying to get my weight in the, in the one sixties. So, yeah. And what is yours again, Daniel? Uh, 254. So one thing I know I'm going to do. And I know you were looking at doing a, another 5, 10, or whatever K. Uh, is I'm going to do a 7K here in March for the for the luck of the Irish. It's a 7K. It's mm -hmm. called Rain of the Green. It happens in downtown Denver. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post on Facebook when it's official. And then I would love to have people in the Denver area join me and uh, kind of, you know, maybe do the run together. Um, but my goal is to try to hit the goal that I was trying to hit in this competition by then. So it's like 80 or 90 days away from now. So I still will will train. And I'm actually kind of excited because training for a run, I think, is a lot more. And I, and I see this with, how, how, with your success. I think the training for those runs during this competition made you more successful because it, it gave you something other than just a number to look forward to. It gave you something else to look forward to. So I'm, look, I'm hoping the same happens with me where I have something to look forward to in a run. And then maybe the weight will come off with it as a bonus. Yeah, yeah, and and it's gonna be tough too. E even though there's a goal and 
and it's fun and you look forward to it and you're trying to prep up and stuff like that, it still takes all that grind and, and stuff like that, like just getting up and, and going at it. And I remember when I was prepping up, um, there were many nights that it was really cold out there and I just, I just went for it. I didn't, I didn't care. So yeah, this is, this is definitely a hard part of the year to train as well. Cause it is so cold, uh, yeah. especially here in Denver. It's pretty cold. Uh, how's it in California? Um, it's still pretty cold, but it's been the sun's been coming out the past couple of days, so that's good. But it's still uh, raining every now and then, so it's yeah. getting up really rainy, cold mornings when it's dark out. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's still colder up there in your area than down here. So, yeah, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh talk about yeah we 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 got our numbers down we. We've basically been talking about our fitness, our diet throughout all our videos. Um, it's what? It's been six six to seven months since we started this entire competition, this website, and, and everything. And um, let's talk about the future of Andy versus Dano, what we're going to do for 2011 now that this this public challenge is over with, you know. We're, well, the great thing is we'll still be doing challenges, but they won't necessarily be weight loss challenges. Um, we'll be doing other things, like other things to improve our lives. So anything from cutting down TV to becoming a vegetarian for a month uh, to volunteering to rock climbing. There's, we have a list. In fact, Andy and I were discussing it. And I think that what we should do is, and in fact, this is Andy's idea, is to post it on Facebook, a couple of our ideas, and then have people kind of vote upon which one we're going to do. And it's going to be every month. So every month we're going to do a, a, a competition to see who can outdo the other in an activity like the ones I was saying, like, you know, cutting down TV watching or becoming a, a vegan, <laughs> which is, that's a nutrition one. So, uh, or volunteering. I love that idea of volunteering for a month and we could talk about how, how to go about that and, you know, how to do things like that. Um, yeah. Another, or, or oh, go ahead. No, go you, you Andy. Um, and some other ideas are, are just some things like, uh, you know, conquering the fear of public speaking. Um, you know, uh, learning Spanish, learning sign language, or something like that. Whatever's important to us, and uh, we just want to hack it to the point where we can do it in a month. You know what I mean? So it'll be fun. It'll it'll create a community. People can participate, and yeah, we'll just be doing one new competition every single month and see how that goes. And we just basically use our best strategy to learn something as fast as possible or break a habit as fast as possible. The other big changes that are going to be going on in this show is that we're no longer going to be live, going to be live, which guys, I love to see you in the audience today. Oh, sorry. I love to see you in the audience today. It's great. Um, please stay in the comments. Uh, we're, we're going to go basically probably record during the weekend and then have the show come out on Tuesday or Monday and um, just do it that way. That way we can kind of edit it differently and take advantage of the format. Do you have anything to add to that, Andy? Um, no, ba basically, um, you know, when we started off, we were thinking about, okay, this is a challenge, but where do we start? Would it just be fitness? Okay, let's start off with fitness since, you know, both of us wanted to lose weight and and make our diet better and stuff like that. But we don't want to focus all on fitness and make people think, okay, this is another fitness website or something like that. It's more of a, you know, a life hacking website. It's, it's doing what we can, the fastest we can to improve our lives in every aspect possible, you know, physically, financially, mentally, emotionally, socially, everything just to improve our lives. And I think by doing what we're doing, it's going to, you know, create a community where other people will start hacking their own life and not just doing things that everybody else does, but doing it with, you know, intention and purpose and a goal in mind. And, you know, the goal is to be happy and to simplify your life and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's more than just fitness. It's in every single thing and everything that we've learned in trying to lose weight, we can use that same strategy and, uh, you know, yeah, use the same strategy and techniques and all that stuff into every other stuff, whether we're trying to learn something or break a habit. Yeah. So speaking of what we learned, I know I wrote down a few things that I know is going to stick with me through through the rest of my life. And I've already noticed habits that have changed in my life. What are some of the things that changed from this uh, 
from our experiment, our seven month experiment that are going to probably stick with you for the rest of your life. One thing that ran with me, the one biggest thing, every time I hit the gym, every time I ran, every time I hesitated or feared is that the quote that stuck in my mind was, you are your own limit. You know, so every time before I hit the treadmill or while I'm on the treadmill and I can't go that last mile or, you know, if my foot is hurting and I can't really run the, the race or if I'm afraid of the two feet box jump because I'm so tired already and I'm afraid of falling. The thing that keeps running in my head is the only thing that's stopping me is myself. So if I want something bad enough, I have to conquer that fear and just get past it and just let myself know that the only person stopping me is myself, nothing else. So since I'm in control of myself, I can possibly, I can do anything I want to put my mind into. So, yeah, and, and, and I've done it over and over and over again. And I hope that, you know, it sticks hard enough that I can use the same lesson in every single thing that I do. You know, box jump, what? I had to do 50 of them. I did 10. I was completely tired. I was mm. still so afraid because when you're tired, you, you're more likely to fall down if you don't reach the top of the box, right? Yeah. So I actually fell down three times, but I just didn't care, and I just kept going at it. It was just a small fear, and, you know, running a race with, with a swollen ankle, I mean, yeah, it, it was just all me, so. And, and getting through all your gout, uh, also challenging. Yeah. Getting through all the gout and, and sticking with the diet and, and just, you know, getting myself to go to, to prep up for the runs and stuff like that, um, yeah, every time I wanted to say, oh, no, and, and start thinking of all the excuses for myself not to go because it's so easy because, you know, people aren't watching me. There's no one dragging me to, to anywhere. So, yeah, it, it, it's always just – it ends up with yourself at the very end of the day, you know, whether you want to do something or not. So that's one of the biggest things that I learned. What's one of the things that you learned? I mean, that is, that is definitely well put. Um it's totally true. It's it brings me back to when I first started working out and the elliptical machine. Ten minutes in, I wanted to die. I was like, "There's no way I could go any further on this. I, I just want to go to the treadmill and just walk on that." And but no, you just keep pushing yourself through, and before you know it, you amaze yourself of what you can accomplish and how far you can go with it. Um, I think you conquered it. I I was thinking more of a list of things that habits that have changed, but I think you've really wrapped up a real big meaning of the competition. Um, I, my, the stuff I learned, and it, it goes along with what you said, is that, you know, just take your first, like, move before you think. Uh, just push yourself past something. Mm -hmm. you, you try to do have your body act before you can mentally be afraid of it. That That's definitely one thing that kind of ties to what you were saying. And on the, on the other end, uh, little things have changed as I eat more fresh, raw vegetables. I try to eat multiple times a day. I've increased the, the protein in my diet. Uh, I know I need to schedule time to sleep. Uh I think that was, and I don't know if you noticed to say, you know, you, you don't sleep that regularly, so you, you seem to be okay with it. But I think having a regular scheduled sleeping time uh, does help your body recoup a lot better than staying up for a whole day and then going to bed a whole bunch the next day. Because it's hard to hit the gym at that point because you've been up for 24 hours. It's like, I'm too tired to go to the gym. So trying to schedule sleeping time has been a, something that's going to stick with me as well. Yeah. Any little things as well for you, Andy? Mm -hmm. No, I can't think of any right now. I just know that the one I mentioned earlier was just one of the biggest thing and I think most important lesson that I've learned out of everything. So, yeah. It'd be, it'd be interesting to apply that same idea to not watching TV. We're like, okay, I, I can live without this today. I just want to see what's going on in the world. Yeah. I, I mean, oh, th 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 there's actually another one that, that, you know, have always stuck with me and – it's, you know, while you're trying to lose weight or do anything, you're going to get a lot of information. You're going to be overwhelmed. There's going to be a lot of rumors and, 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 and false information out there. But really the, the trick to anything is just to do it. You know, like you said, just uh, get your body to do it before the fear even kicks in. And like anything, if you're trying to start up a, you know, a website like Andy versus Dano or or, you know, people in college who's trying to do their homework or, or start an essay or something like that. It's just to start it. You just know, start typing on the keyboard. and 
Yeah, procrastination procrastination is, is is huge, but I think once you start it, it gets the ball rolling and the momentum building, and it just makes everything much easier. But it's the time uh, while you're waiting before anything starts that that is the hardest, you know. Like so, like trying to start uh, a webcast, right? You just you know start recording videos before you have any idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So don't don't ever wait to be perfect. Just just get in 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 the action mode, and then yeah, things will start building from there. Yeah. Yeah, it, especially if you're a perfectionist, because perfection will never happen at that point. You just gotta create it's work. Like perfect. <laughs> create work. Yeah. I, like Andy versus Dano, I mean, how many times did the design change and how many times did the direction of our website change, right? So, yeah, it, it's pretty insane. And it's going to change, right? Because we're always going to – I don't know, it's just us. But we Everything will always change, I think, and things will move forward and will evolve in one direction or another. And, and it's all about the learning experience from it. Yeah. And, and and the biggest objective, any objective at all, at the end of the day, the, the goal is just to be happy. So just remember that and, and never get off track. I think that's one of the most important things because everything that that we're doing here is just to be happier, you know? So, yeah. That That is a great segue because I know that's one of your New Year's resolutions is to just yeah. be happy. Yeah. I know I know this year's new uh, resolution was to, you know, what what are some things that I'm not happy with uh, myself, you know? So, you know, one of my goals is to just look and feel better, whether it's getting more fit, getting more healthy, or or just improving my appearance and stuff like that. And not so much to impress other people, but more to impress myself, to know that, you know, I'm looking my best and feeling my best every single day. And uh, another one is just to simplify everything in my life uh, physically and emotionally and socially and everything, just get rid of all the clutter so that I can focus on what's most important to me. You know, so those are two of the most biggest things that I wanted to accomplish this year, and those are going to be the two biggest things that I will still keep trying to improve for 2011. So, what's yours, Daniel? This before getting on the mind, do you, do those tie into your 100 day? Agenda, because I know we talked back, uh, not so much on the show, but talked about making changes every hundred days. This, do those tie directly into your hundred days? Yep. Challenge. Those are those are two of the big ones. Those are two of the big ones. So awesome. Yeah. Uh, mine are very similar to yours, which you know maybe that's why we have a webcast, eh? Uh, <laughs> it's the biggest thing, and I kind of simplify it to one word. It's called reduce, where I'm just going to reduce everything I can in my life. So. Reducing, of course, you know, losing weight is a reduction. I'm going to reduce the amount of stuff I own. I have I have stuff that I don't use, and it's and it is like clutter. It is like it eats up mental space because you think about it like, well, am I ever, ever going to use this or not? And so I'm going to try to get rid of that stuff. I'm also going to reduce a lot of the inputs in my life. So I'm going to stop using Instant Messenger, which I know is going to hopefully not offend people, but I think leaving it up to email. And I'm still going to be on Twitter and Facebook. Leaving those being the only ways to communicate with me uh, just will simplify my life. And the reason why I choose those those two those three mediums is because Twitter and Facebook and email are I can control when I look at them. With instant messaging, I don't know about you, Andy, but people instant message you, and it's just out of nowhere, and it kind of just interrupts you and creates extra noise in your day when you could probably control that noise level. That's why many times I'm in invisible mode, <laughs> yeah, or or ninja mode as as my buddy Alan calls it. So we should we should give a life hack tip on how to interrupt somebody in ninja mode. Huh. <laughs> yeah, oh. but yeah, um, reducing a lot of stuff is is very important because, like I tell everybody, I'm like every single thing in your life takes up energy. You got to manage it, think of it, clean it, use it, repair it, everything. So. If you get rid of it and get down to the bare bone, you can focus things that are more important to you, which usually doesn't require physical stuff. So, yeah. And and for those who just got their Amazon gift cards for Christmas, um, I would recommend getting things done by David Allen. I know if you, I don't know if you've read it. I have it. <laughs> I have the book. Yeah. Yeah, it it's it's it talks a lot about that kind of removing. Uh, he calls them fe- like loops, open loops, I believe. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very similar. 
The same goes with applications. I want to reduce the number of applications I use on my computer. Um, so I, I, I know I, I'm one of these types of people who always experiments with new software. And so I have like a few different programs that do almost similar things. I'm going to probably merge them all into Evernote and use Evernote, which is a highly recommended program by me, uh, for me. I, I don't, they're not a sponsor or anything. And I'm not getting paid to say it. Uh, but I use Evernote quite a bit. And so yeah. I, that's this program I'm going to try to use mostly for everything, for document management, for clients and keeping notes on myself, live up to their philosophy of it'll be my extended brain. Yeah. So, so I guess looking, feeling good and, and simplifying your life, would you say those are the, the two biggest ones for you to also? Yeah. I think we have the same uh, resolutions written differently. Okay. Great. 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 Yeah. And, um, yeah, we basically covered, um, the result of our fitness challenge, we covered um, what we're going to do with Andy versus Dano in 2011. And uh, we also covered up our uh, 2011 uh, New Year's resolution. So um, is there anything else to add? Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this competition unfold. And thank you for your support and your inspiration and your comments and your thoughts. It, it really means a lot. Uh, it kept me going. I would never be at this point in the 250s if it wasn't for Andy versus Dano. I'd still be probably floating around the 280s, 290s. So I really appreciate Andy for uh, joining me in this competition. And hopefully we can continue and do everything just as awesomely if we, as we've been doing it. Maybe I'll win the next one. Maybe. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> no, we have I am going to win the next competition. No matter what, it, whatever it is, I'm beating you, Andy. Learn Spanish, okay. right? Learn, Learn Spanish. how to use a chopstick, but uh, no. Uh, I, I know how to do that. Yeah, I mean, one, one of the ones that we can do, like what we just mentioned, is to simplify your life into a duffel bag, you yeah. know? So, yeah, that, that'll, that'll be a, a cool one right there, but... I think it's going to yeah. be really... I think the best part is going to be trying to figure out how to bend the rules of the competition. <laughs> so, like, everything in a duffel bag, except for everything my wife owns... Which uh -huh. I will just give to her that are mine, right? <laughs> well, just give her a much bigger duffel bag, that's all. Yeah. Sweet. But, yeah, and I, and, and I want to say thanks to the, you know, the, the people in the audience that, that come on all the time or, or leave comments all the time on our Facebook, our website, you know, Tiffany, Nicole, Vanessa, Alan, you know. Is there anybody else you want to add? Uh, Aaron, Kelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, th thanks, guys. Uh, it, it's been fun for this, this first challenge, and we can't wait to start 2011, you know, with the brand new Andy versus Dano, you know, branding and, and competition and challenges and community and all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to be adding a whole community section to our our website. And, yeah, who knows? Hopefully everything will 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 grow as we expect. And you think that about wraps it up, Dano? I think so. Hey, right. Happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year's, guys. Happy New Year, and, um, yeah, take care. Bye.